waving Trump 2020 flags and signs. People supporting the president as election results still hang in the balance gathered outside our West Boardman Street studio in downtown Youngstown this morning. They're calling for a recount of all legal votes. Caroline Collins was outside our doors earlier for the Stop the Count protest. She joins us now in studio with more on their message. Caroline. Gathering outside of local news outlets, a way they say to protest unfair media coverage of President Trump, a theme of Trump supporters over the past several years, also a way to get their message out that they believe the election results aren't reliable. I honestly cannot understand how Biden is running away with this vote. Judy Shortreed, along with a few dozen others, gathering outside of 21 News downtown and another media outlet off of Midlothian. <laughs> The group calling for election transparency, fair ballot counting, and an end to what they're calling corruption. I think there's so many examples of things that were done where in the middle of the night, votes showed up. They shut down the polls in certain areas, and then overnight we see more ballots show up. We see ballots that have been changed. As votes are still being counted, the president's lead in battleground states like Pennsylvania slipping away, but his base unwilling to let go of what they say he's accomplished. Trump has given us our country back. He's supporting the veterans. He stopped wanting to stop the abortions. He wants to put God back in America. He is putting our wall up so our immigrants will come in, but they will come in safely. I came here legally through the whole process, and uh, I think all people should come here legally. They say with all of the support the president has seen throughout the country, they're not buying these election results. There's just so many people out supporting this president. Our gas prices are low. We're not in war with anybody right now. A group called Protect the Results Mahoning Valley says these claims are false and they're calling for patience. We need to trust the system that's in place and be vigilant. With more local news, I'm Caroline Collins.